today we're going to be doing a photo shoot and interview with Amber and her friend Keisha. Uh, they're two horse enthusiasts down here in Atlanta, Georgia. So we're going to be doing a photo shoot and an interview with them. Keisha has about 12 to 13 horses on her ranch. So we're going to get out here, see if we get some good shots. Today we're going to be shooting on an RB67. So we're going to see how that goes. The weather is a bit cloudy. So we just have to see out here with all the horses. They got a pig out here. They got two pigs out here actually. Like I said, they got about 12 to 13 horses. Um, so they saddling up some of them now. We're just gonna be walking around, getting a glimpse of the land, seeing how they like it here, seeing what all they do here. And they got a group here that's about to do a trail ride over here. So it's gonna be interesting to see. See? Yeah, he not having it. Get your butt. Here we go. So today we're going to be shooting with the RB67. It's the only camera I brought with me. And then we're going to be shooting with some Portra 400 today as well. So that's what we're working with today. Trying to make sure this horse don't kick me in the face. Big ass horse right here behind me. they don't make no sudden movements nothing like that i already shot a couple pitches i still had a roll in my camera that was unfinished so when i first got here i just shot like three pitches just to finish this roll off Time to shoot. They be gonna think I'm crazy out here walking in all this mud. I done stepped in. Boo boo, everything out here. And my mics. Fresh as hell, but you know. These are my favorite beaters.
got some active chrome 100 in here. So we can get some more shots of amber on the course. Not gonna lie, carrying this Mamiya everywhere with me like this, my arm strength gonna be crazy. This shit for like a brick, literally. Like this camera is super heavy. So I finally got my pictures back from FW Photo Lab and honestly these are like some of my most favorite pictures that I've taken. Just being out there, seeing them riding the horses, being around the animals, being around black people, enjoying the things they love, that was something that I really enjoyed. And just looking at these pictures now, it's honestly might be some of my best pictures, definitely some of my most favorite pictures. Because my style of photography, which you guys will see a lot here on this channel, is documentary photography. So documenting black people in black areas, doing black things, doing what black people love. That's my passion, that's my goal for this channel, my goal for my photography. And that's what I'm gonna give you guys. Um, also fashion photography, cause that's what I love too. I love fashion, so it's gonna be a little bit of that mixed in there, but documentary photography and being a modern historian, that's, uh, that's my goal. So uh, how do, so how did I even meet Amber? I met Amber on Instagram. Um, I was looking for black horse enthusiasts in Atlanta, cause that's where I'm located. So I was just scrolling Instagram, trying to find people, which is extremely hard. But I, I did find some people on Facebook. Um, but you know, coordinating with people and people not responding. So I came across Amber, and she responded to me. She was just as eager as I was to get out there and shoot. So we ended up making it happen. Uh, she had a, Amber's horses is in South Carolina, being trained right now. So we ended up using her friend's Keisha's ranch. The reason I wanted to do this is because one, I love horses. Uh, I'm a very country person. I'm from Chicago, but I just love the country. I love doing things of that nature. And horses was something that I just enjoy. I've just always been in black culture since the beginning of times and I think we can tell some nice stories of like how it became, why are people even interested in it still, um, and how we could keep that culture going. So you guys seen while we was out there, we were shooting with the Mamiya RB67 and we were shooting on some Porsche 400 and some Ektar 100. Uh, it was cloudy at first, so you will see like at first it was super cloudy because it had just rained that morning, but as time went on, uh, it got super hot outside like I had sweat dripping from my neck hot um, and then carrying around all that film equipment because we know the Mamiya RB67 is not light. So I was just out there carrying that the whole time and then I had my 
Fujifilm X-T30, which is what I record on, do a lot of video work on there, but I also take pictures too, because it takes some really good pictures. Uh, so I did use that while I was out there. Uh, I love my uh, RB67. Um, I know a lot of people complain about the weight of it and how heavy it is, but honestly, I love it. It has that vintage feel to it, and like the picture quality that I get from it is just amazing. Like sometimes I'll take a picture and you would even think like it comes out so clear you would think I took it on a digital camera but it's like once you really look at it you can see all the grain in there and it just looks beautiful so that's my right now that's my favorite camera uh, when I first got into photography I ordered I had a Pentax 67 but there were some issues with it so I ended up returning it sending it back to the guy who sold it to me got my money back and I ended up getting the Mamiya RB67 so it's been working out pretty good. I do, I am gonna get that Pentax. I love that camera. So I'm gonna be giving you guys way more content on here. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos, taking you guys out on photo shoots with me, take you around town whenever I'm back in Chicago, shooting some things, telling stories about a bunch of the different community areas and the people in those areas in Chicago. Also gonna be doing the same here in Atlanta. Uh, just documenting the process, documenting the history of both cities. And I'll probably end up doing the a couple of states down south as well but i'm going to be taking you guys along my journey with me so make sure you subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram at tattoo raw that's t-y-t-o-r-a-w and you can follow my film page at fresh film projects on instagram and yeah